everyone, Eric Swanson here with Eric Swanson Outdoors and Addicted Fishing. Today we're going to talk the five tips on how to cross the sands. Tip number one, don't cross the sand if you don't know where to cross it at. That's the easiest way to get stuck and to make yourself look like a fool is crossing where you don't know. Tip number two, follow somebody who does know. The best way to learn it is to follow somebody across who's done it before. That way you get a feel for it and learn how to do it. Tip number three, if you're still unsure on where to cross at, you want to watch your tide book and make sure it's not a minus tide the day you're going to cross. When it's a minus tide, the channel is going to be a lot narrower and it's going to be a lot more important to know exactly where you are. Tip number four, when you are crossing the sand, you don't want to rip it across it and haul ass. If you do happen to hit the sand, and you're hauling ass, you're gonna hurt yourself and your passengers on your boat. So take it slow when you're crossing the sand, do not rip it across it. Tip number five for crossing the sand. If you're still unsure and haven't done it before, time it so you're crossing at the high tide. That'll give you the most amount of water and you don't have to be as precise when crossing it. Well, I know that I've been crossing that Astoria Bridge a few times and oh, seen yeah. some dudes stuck on that sand. Well, I've seen them multiple times. <laughs> so those were some good tips that you offered people right. when it came to crossing the sands. Again, like we say with everything, this isn't the know-all be-all of crossing the sands. You gotta be careful, things change, water conditions change. Yes. I mean, those things are moving too sometimes. You gotta just Always. be careful, right? Correct, yeah, it depends on the tides and you know, day to day they change. Exactly, so if you guys or girls have any suggestions or pointers for any of the people watching this video, put those things in the comments down below. It'll be great to hear what you guys have to say about crossing the sands down in Astoria. Exactly. With that being said, we're gonna talk about how the fish move with the tides in video yes. number three right and that can be very challenging so number three we gave up some pretty decent tips so some decent tips and you yeah. fished down there for years yeah, right yeah fished down there for many years many years so i think eric knows a thing or two about what these fish are doing with the tides so make sure you subscribe and like always go hit that bell so you're notified when we upload video number three we're going to upload that tomorrow we'll see you on the river see you guys out there